Hey, welcome back to the channel, Mr. Vetter here. Have another pretty cool tabletop gear review for you today. What you happen to be looking at here on the table is a Mossberg 500. But this is why we're here. This is the Opsol Mini Clip. It's made by a veteran-owned company. I'm a veteran, so I like to support other veterans as much as I possibly can. And what this Mini Clip will give you the ability to do is, here's a look at the Mini Clip here. It's just a simple piece of uh, rubber, very flexible. As you can see, it's pretty flexible, but it's rigid down here where it needs to be. And what this will give you the ability to do is it will let you shoot these guys here, which are the short shells, which are called short shells, inch and three quarter shells. These shells come in bird shots as well as uh, there are some slug variants out there. There's another company that make these. I got these from Challenger, but I also bought them by a company called Aguila or Aguila, depending on how you say it. But there are several uh, companies out there in the market that make these. So these are really awesome. Um, I think I paid about 12 bucks for 20 shells, which isn't terribly bad. Just a uh, great, awesome, light load. It's just a really awesome shell to shoot. Great for self-defense if you're worried about over penetration in your house this is another good reason why you could get these short shells and you know you don't have to worry about all this extra energy you're going to get great penetration on the target that you're shooting at but you get a lot less penetration that you would if you were shooting a two plus inch full size shotgun shell i'm going to show you how easy it is to install it's very easy first thing you're going to want to do is take and place your shotgun safe very important. I'm going to show you how to install a mini clip. Very easy. All you do is take it and squeeze it. As you can see, I just squeezed it and I placed it right down inside. And then you're going to take and push and butt it up against the back of the receiver, just like that. And that is all to it. The other really awesome thing about these short shells is it increases your magazine capacity you pretty much get a two to one ratio so for what you would get out of one of these you get in two of these so for the guys out there that are running the Mossberg the shock waves and all a little shorter self-defense or portable shotguns uh, these are a really awesome alternative to go with as well so just pick yourself up one of these optal mini clips and what this mini clip does I forgot to mention the whole reason why you get it when you try to use a short shell or mini shell, depending on who you buy these shells from, when you try to use it with a Mossberg, you run into feeding issues. When you go to cycle your shotgun, you actually run into an issue with the shell falling out. But with this mini clip in here, it keeps the shell from falling out and allows you to rack that next shell in reliably. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. I got the barrel installed. I didn't want to bore you guys by showing an installation of a barrel. So I uh, got the barrel properly installed. I'm going to load a couple of the mini shells in the shotgun. Just take the short shell, press them in a tubular magazine, just like that. And what you do from there is you take and you rack your shotgun. In the chamber your first round just like that making sure that you're working with a safe firearm at all times keeping your firearm pointed in a safe direction now all we're going to do is take and eject these As you can see i still have one in the magazine here and i have one in the chamber so i'm just going to take and press my eject button here All right, so we drop that one. And to remove the Opsol mini clip, all you do is take your pump, move it in the back, midways towards the back, just about that much. Stick your finger in, and you just pull it out. Very simple. Here's an example of what would happen if you were to chamber a short shell in a Mossberg 500 variant shotgun without the Opsol mini clip. I will uh, first, I'm going to first feed the short shell in the magazine and uh, turn the shotgun upside down. 
and I'm gonna attempt to chamber this next short shell without the hops on mini clip. So, I don't know if you could see that, I'm sure you can, but without the hops on mini clip install, this is what happens with the short shell. This is why you would wanna purchase the hops on mini clip. All right, so in closing, I'm definitely gonna give the hops on mini clip two thumbs up. This is made by a veteran owned company. It's made in the USA. It provides really great reliability for your five, Mossberg 500 platform uh, shotgun. And like I say, I mean, there are just so many, there are so many upsides to using a short shell, whether it's a self-defense uh, type situation in a home, uh, you double your capacity, you're pretty much getting a two for one. And it's uh, it's a lot lighter shooting, you know, so if you have any females in your life, whether it's your mom, your sister, your niece, your daughter, girlfriend, whoever it might be, or even you know, for some of the smaller kids that are getting into trap and target shooting, um, these are a great option. These uh, are still very lethal. They're moving at 1,200 feet per second. You know, you're moving at lead at 1,200 feet per second. So using uh, a short shell, it's, all, it's an all around win-win if you ask me. You know, I've shot probably a couple thousand of these things using an Opsol mini clip and I've never had any malfunctions, no failure to feeds, no double feeds, anything of the sort. So. Um, I really swear by this product. Go out, pick yourself one up for 15 bucks. Uh, this is the best 15 bucks I've spent in several years. So uh, go out, pick yourself one up, and you'll thank me later. As a matter of fact, come back and let me know how you like it. Once you pick yours up, come back, leave a comment. Um, I will le leave a link in the description where you could pick yours up at. So check it out. Mr. Vetter also like to remind you guys, hey, don't forget to thank your local LEO, your local first responders, and EMS out there. And also, thank your local military personnel, those that are true American heroes. Mr. Vetter, out.